trial tool is an API viewer. You can showcase your client-side APIs in the browser using this tool. This is the application. You can click on individual examples here to load the code in the code area. The relevant documentation is also loaded here. You can click on run to execute the example. Interestingly, this example has a variable called a that is not defined. It also tells me that the example is dependent on some other example. Hence, I can click on load prerequisites and run. Now, this runs perfectly. You can also use this application to create your own examples. To start the forking mode, ensure that this URL parameter is specified and you should be able to see a fork link near the examples. Click on fork and the fork mode, mode is enabled. You can now see some icons near every example. You can click on this icon to rename the example. You can also delete examples using the red cross button here. Similarly, examples can be moved around with this icon here. To create new example sets, use this icon. And to create new examples, use this, this icon. All these icons have tooltips and hence using them should be easy. So you can select an example and modify the code for it. Once the code is modified, click on save so that the code is saved. When you visit the example back, you should be able to see the saved code. You can also change the documentation for the example by changing text here. You should click the save button to save the documentation. Once editing is complete, you can click on save fork to export the example. When you click on save fork, you would see this page. Click on save to disk to save the example. The example is saved as default.html. You can then download the zip file or the tarball of trial tool and place the example in examples slash default.html. If you host the entire package as a web resource in your web server, your example will be ready to be displayed.